Hello everyone, it's Jess Hearts, and today we are building a modern home built onto some ancient ruins. This was the first thing I built after the new debug objects and I was like, oh my god, everyone's going to be building this kind of house and like, I haven't seen a single person do the same thing. So I was like, heck yeah, score, solid build idea. Or maybe it's a bad build idea and that's why I haven't seen anyone else do it. <laughs> um, I will say I think some parts of the backyard are a bit of a mess. I don't know why I built so many decks and balconies. I haven't recently watched Romeo and Juliet, but I had a fixation on balconies for whatever reason. But either way, I hope you enjoy it. The interior is kind of rustic and industrial, but very modern all in the same. This is kind of the modern house I'd love, to be honest. Oh, and like the big angled windows on the front. Made from roofs, yeah. Kate Emerald did a tutorial, um, did a tutorial on that like a month ago, and I was like, oh my god, that's such a good idea. I could totally incorporate it in the middle of those pillar archway thingies. And yeah, in the end, I think it looks good. <laughs> Hopefully, that you feel the same. Anyway, segue to where I talk about what we're actually doing. Um, yeah, we're just doing the outside shell and the roofing. I actually struggled with the roofing a little bit, but I feel like that's pretty common when you're doing any Sims build because the roofing is the most tricky part in some sometimes. But yeah, I'm kind of glad with how it ended up. But yeah, how's everyone's week going? As of recording this, it's my sister's birthday. So happy birthday, sister. I hope you're well. See you this weekend at the pub. <laughs> Other than that, I've just been working um, on videos and I finally got to bed at like 12 last night, but I stayed up and read two books that I'm reading currently and I felt really smart, I won't lie. I was also watching a documentary about my favorite actor who is in the new movie theme video for next week, late next week. So get excited for that it's one of my favorite movies of all time it's hilarious a bit sad but all amazing I am very keen to show you guys that oh yeah and um remember to put in your gothic build entries for the hashtag Jess Hearts build challenge 4 I've extended the entry time till the 6th of August so get on it the rules are on the gallery under the shell so don't stress any packs are allowed so don't worry if you haven't got the vampires or the spooky packs just get creative randomly selected builds will be toured in the video next week I I am... I'm just so excited for the coming video, guys. And just touring it, all of them, like spooky stuff as a thing, is my thing. It's me to a T. I love it. <laughs> um, also, yeah, give me ideas for the next build challenge. Any theme is welcome. I'm kind of thinking of doing something like maybe the complete opposite of spooky, but maybe that might be a little bit boring. I don't know. Either way, give me ideas, lads. Has anyone been to a haunted house as a thing? Whether that be like a real one or a fake one put up by a show or a county fair or something I went to one when I was super little and you'd like sit in this little car right and it'd ride you through and up the house and I was fine until my mum backed out as soon as I got in the little car and the guy working it didn't give two craps and he let me go even though I was like don't don't let me go I want to get off now and I just remember seeing like all the creepy stuff me like yeah, yeah, that's creepy, but I'm okay. And then something touched me and I freaked the heck out I hid in the car like underneath the bonnet or something so I couldn't be touched and then when it started to get lighter I popped my head up again and everyone saw me hiding underneath and it was very very embarrassing for little tiny Jess <laughs> I've been in them since but they don't really do much for me anymore I definitely go to one if I saw one though um I'm gonna go have a go at me mum after this for that because all the trauma just came back <laughs> have you guys been to any haunted houses or like spooky places or have you got any local legends? I know when I moved where I'm living now, everyone at my school was like, oh my god, you're living in that haunted house. And keep in mind, this place is like just up the road from their school. So everyone knew where it was and it's on the main road. And it's got like these huge trees out the front that made an archway over the footpath. And like it didn't look creepy to me maybe a little bit weathered but there wasn't like bats and like a dark cloud above it or anything I think it's nearly like 200 years old I'm not sure but it was like one of the first houses built in built in this town but apparently this was once a kindergarten at some point and then when somebody else owned it 
um, they died in the spare bedroom. But that could all be fabrication. But my fourth grade teacher told me all this. And also, she happened to live here a while before I did. So maybe she knows the truth. I don't know. So yeah, a bit of a history lesson there. I don't think I've ever experienced anything creepy in this house. But a few days ago, when I rolled over to go to sleep, as I was listening to something, like I was still super awake. I had just sat my phone down. And like something hard pressed on my arm. And heck yeah, I freaked out. I hid underneath the blankets. And I was like, oh my god, wait, I'm 21. Be an adult about this. So I said firmly, stop it. (laughs) And then I peeked around and of course nothing was there. I felt like an idiot, but you know, if there was an actual ghost there, I sure told them. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Do you guys believe in ghosties? I have a super weird and eerie story about this, um, or about ghosts, but I reckon I'll tell you guys that one when it's October. So it's on brand for the time. I have big plans for October, guys. I know not everyone is into this kind of thing. And if that's so, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be throwing bats, witches and spiders and ghouls at you for four weeks straight, twice a week. I'll also be getting like my Let's Play game on. So get ready for that. I won't lie. It'll probably suck because it's my first one. So be patient with me, please. (laughs) Anyway, this build isn't spooky in the slightest. So I'll get off the subject. And yeah, the entrance to this build seemed a little bit barren. So I thought putting those little... um columns there would add some separation. I think I did an okay job, but I still think it's a little bit too open. I don't know. It'd be good for gameplay, that's for sure. And oh yeah, like I said, it's my sister's birthday and we are celebrating up in the city and we hired out a fancy bar for a lot of people, but I've been told to dress fancy. Now, if you know me IRL, I clean up pretty good, but I usually live in like fluffy PJ pants, fluffy socks and a t-shirt. And if I wear shoes, They are big, bulky Doc Martens. Not saying these things aren't fancy, but I feel like I've lost the ability to dress up. Like, I haven't worn a dress and heels in probably years. And I love dressing up, it's fun. But I'm going to be a little bit nervous. I'm probably going to be, like, trying on outfits after this, then have a panic attack and end up throwing my shoes out a window or something. Can you all relate? I I get that way all the time. I know some people are going to be like, why are you trying on outfits so early? That's kind of weird. But hear me out. If I wait till the day, my room will be a war zone and I would have tried on at least five outfits, gone to my boyfriend, does this look good? And if he responds anything short of, you look glorious, I'll huff and I'll probably try on something else. And that's probably me thinking I don't look good, more so him telling me, not telling me what I want to hear. So it's not on him. It's not his bad. It's me being paranoid and it sucks when you're like getting ready before an event on the day and you can't find anything to wear and the clock's ticking so you're panicking and thankfully I don't really wear makeup so I don't need to stress about that as much and FYI my sister was a hairdresser for a long time but is now a nurse congrats so I gotta make my hair look good otherwise she's gonna be like "Mm, your split ends don't look good (laughs) someone help me I just want to curl up and eat pizza and watch Netflix with my dog Oh, nah, but I am excited for the celebration and seeing my sister. It should be fun, but I reckon I'll end up wanting to go back to the hotel and like ordering takeout super early. <sighs> What's everyone's plan for the weekend? You got a birthday coming up? I don't really want to celebrate my birthday next year, to be honest. It's always a lot of messing around. Mind you, it's always good to, like, it's always a good excuse to catch up with your friends. Oh yeah, and the following weekend, my group of friends and myself are going to Mona And if you have no clue what that is, not surprising, it's kind of a Tasmanian thing. And it's a weird and wonderful museum and art gallery in Tasmania owned by David Walsh. And he's like a really successful gambler, I think. Like there's some really weird stuff in there. Not even kidding. There is literally a poop machine. There is a big robotic poop machine that is meant to emulate the human digestive system. It stinks. Like there is a bubble car, a mummy sarcophagus, and a wall of lady parts. I'm not even joking. This isn't your normal museum. I've had a heap of, uh, I've been there a heap of times because of art school. So I'm only going because these guys want to go. Like there's only so many times you can stare at a wall of lady parts. Oh yeah, um, my dog kind of pooped in the hallway when I was recording this. So I wrote it on the train paint because I was angry. <laughs> but yeah, I believe after we go to Mona, we're going to have some drinks and like go get some dinner. So it should be fun. Oh yeah, I just realized there will probably be balloons at my sister's party. So like, I'm actually super terrified of balloons. Story time with Jess. They terrify me. I know one other person uh, that has this fear, but like, 
I hate seeing them like slowly float to the ground and thinking, oh crap, they're going to pop, they're going to pop. And then they just bounce. It's a very strange fear, I know. Like it's a phobia, but they truly freak me out. There is a childhood story when I was four years old as to why. It's funny, but I ain't going to go into that one today, guys. I know a lot of my friends are creeped out by clowns, though. And honestly, they don't bother me at all. But I will tell you what does. People in hazmat suits, like the kind you'd see in Left 4 Dead 2, where you can like barely see their face. And, uh, nah, nah. Not for me, I'm afraid. I'd rather a balloon. Have you got any weird fears? Let me know. I think that'd be interesting to hear. But yeah, we're doing the kids' bedroom now, and I love that little koala chair and the little bunny rabbit chair. I know everyone hates my first pet stuff, I'm with you, but there are some really good, like, kids' objects in that, and I honestly need all the help I can get with decorating kids' rooms, because I just suck at doing it. <laughs> also, I have realised my videos have been kind of long lately. Sorry if that's not your thing. I know nowadays people sometimes like short and sweet videos. I'm like the opposite. If it's good, I want an hour-long video with a detail behind the, seri uh, behind the scenes and and about the author at the end. Like, I don't know, uh, but that's just me. I'm pretty weird. Like, I can watch something a heap of times, not in just, like, one sitting, but I'll watch it again a week later if I liked it. I can't do that with movies, though, so that's different. Does anyone else get like that? I know I'm odd, so that's okay. Like, I don't know if anyone who watches my videos knows this guy called Brutal Moose. He's a super cool YouTuber who makes really interesting videos from like video games to food and I can just binge watch his food videos over and over again. He's so funny. I suggest you guys go watch him. He's really good and really funny. And we're in the teens bedroom. This is probably... I guess, yeah, pretty on par with how much I love uh, the master bedroom because I think the main reason I love the master bedroom, it's got that huge window, but this is definitely more my style, kind of like a rustic bohemian kind of look and a little bit industrial. Like I loved using those, uh, those floorboards because they look like maybe they came with the ancient ruins and they've just upcycled them and like used them as a flooring for the house because it hasn't all somehow rotted. But yeah, I think I like that overall industrial look of this home. But yeah, I definitely had a a lot of fun with this. I think this was just after I'd gotten out of my building slump. I don't know what it was with Island Living, but it ruined my creativity for a while. I start building, then toss it, start again, then toss it. So I think when I finally saw that this build looked half decent, I was like, heck yeah, <laughs> score number two. <laughs> I swear, there's like nothing worse than a creative block. I paint and draw as well, IRL, and when I went into art school, I just looked at everyone else's work and I was like, oh my god, I'm so bad compared to them. But like, we were like selected out of 50 I think I, I don't know how many people tried to get in but like 10 of us or 20 were selected I don't really remember it was a while ago but we had to be good to get in pretty much and yeah I compared myself because I think I'm poo and you totally shouldn't do that it's such a morale killer and I lost a lot of my creative inspiration and it sucks I think a lot of the time we try to be perfect or try to make something perfect and even when it's slightly off we think it's not good enough like not a good way to be guys it's not positive and like it's good to critique your work and everything but not be like oh they did such a better job than me not a good idea and I know a lot of people do that with builds and it's such a vibe because I look at my old stuff I'm like oh my god I'm so bad and actually speaking of that I was looking at my first video the other day and I'm so slow at talking and so quiet it's really embarrassing actually but I guess that's part of the course when you do YouTube videos you get more confident and stuff but yeah we're finally at the screenshots and this video went past so quickly um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this build I had a lot a lot of fun uh, building it I I don't know why I went crazy with the decking outside. I just felt a bit inspired. 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 That's a new one. <laughs> I think I put in a photo of the big windows at the end and yeah, yeah, you can see them there. I love them. But I gotta get going so remember to subscribe, like and comment, tick that bell and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!